Hey everybody, Nick Nick's place here. I'm currently a rank 1 player in Legend of Terra. Previously this season, I got rank 1 with Graven Scion, but then I got passed and I knew I had to get rank 1 back. This time, I decided to make Poppy Lulu. Well, I'll talk about Poppy Lulu, so I wanted to make my own spin on it. And I went 10 know. I won every single game with this deck. I have still not lost a game with this deck. It is extremely powerful. Usually at higher ranks like this, it's... I can do well, but not 10 and 0, right? I can, you know, win three, lose one, win three, lose one. It's pretty tough against uh, these players. But Poppy Lou blew me away with how powerful it was, and I think this deck's extremely strong, potentially even be the strongest deck in the game right now. If you're looking to rank up, this is definitely deck for you. So let's get into it. The goal of this deck is to have as many attackers as possible and go super wide. So you have more attackers than you have blockers. You can buff your whole field of Poppy or give your whole field quick attack with your old Smith, going for huge offensive pressure, and you can just rally and end the game. We have Feet Feather Trackers, cards really good at uh, combining with Lulu or Yarl Smith or Bright's Protector to get board control really early by cleaning up their units um, with the Challenger and the Quick Attack or the Barrier that he has. Group Shot, just cheap removal to get rid of any blockers before you attack and just versatile against opposing Fleet Trackers, stuff like that. Range Resolve is good for protection on your board. Yurtle Squire is nice because it's a one drop, it's buffed by Poppy, so it's cheap. And then it also lets you protect Poppy with Tiny Shield, or you can go up more offensive with Tiny Speed on um, things like. Yoral Smith. Battle Commando is good, elusive damage, and gives you a Hungry Alcat each time he attacks. And this is good discounted off Battle City Mayor, along with making your field uh, cheap and wide. So we have Breaks to Protector. This is good for defensive turns to kind of get a barrier to your unit and block their attack. Protect your champions, or you can put it on Fleet Foot Tracker. Loving Telescope, just good in general. Gives you Celestial Epic or Multi Follower Region card. Uh, pretty good. Sharp Sight's good offensively and defensively. You can use it to push damage, you can use it to win combat trades, or you can use it to live the removal. Like if they get excited, your Poppy or something, or Lulu, you can just sharp sight to keep it alive and then push for damage. Gordo Smith is one of the best cards in the whole deck. Uh, give allies with equal less power than the quick attack. So use Lulu on this to make it a 4-4, and then your 4-4 is pretty bigger than your whole field, and your whole field is quick attack. This uh, allows you to make huge pushes and they can't block anything. And if they don't block, they take damage. If they do, they lose their blockers and you can just rally. Uh, Battle City Mayor, probably one of the best cards in the deck. It uh, makes all your multi-region followers cost one less, as well as um, a manifest, you get a multi-region follower. This discounts Lulu, Poppy, the Hungry Outcats, Tenor of Terror, I mean just about anything. And once you play this on turn 3, you can just swarm the whole field. It's very hard for your opponent to keep up with you, because you're playing everything for so cheap, but that's already playing cheap units, and you just overwhelm them. Uh, we have Lulu, really good in Yorl Smith, as we said, for quick attack combos, but also can use on Fleet Feather Tracker. To get good trades with the Fleet Feather Tracker being a 4 4, so it'll live after it kills something. Um, in general, just pushes good damage as well. Three Pursuit, just rally and we'll finish the game after, so you can attack uh, more than once per turn. Golden Angus is just a fourth rally, uh, it gives barrier, but it costs one more. Poppy is probably the best card in the deck. There's a lot of good cards like Mayor, but Poppy I think takes the cake here. Four mana, 4 3, so when she attacks, all allies equal or less power to her, which is basically all of them, she's like the strongest in the deck. Gain plus one, plus one. So when you do this with a field full of six units, your whole field's getting plus one, plus one. It's just so hard to deal with, so much attack stat for damage, so much health stats, make everything beefier and harder to deal with. And then if you protect her with like Ranger Resolve or give your field quick attack and stuff like that, Dordal Smith, if she attacks again, it's just pretty much game over. If you can even rally to help level her up. I've actually never leveled her up at my, all my games I've played, uh, but I can only imagine it'd be even better. When she levels, you get plus two, plus two in impact. Uh, model your units, so you basically just definitely win the game. But yeah, one or two swings in, and then you're just snowballed so far ahead, and your attack and defense stats they can't really clear your field, so she's insane. Um, and Tenor Terror. This card's good against deck a lot of removal to help reheal your board for cheap. It's one card that summons two cards. They have impacts, so you can get lethal chip ins with the impact damage. Um, it's kind of just good refuel and it's just kind of for Battle City Mayor. Alright, let's get into some games. I haven't lost the deck yet, and I don't think I will, hopefully, so. Let's see, uh, let's see what happens. All right, playing against Xerath, Zillion Talia. Pretty popular deck right now because people are realizing how strong the Arsenal is. That's their 8-cost of the deck. Um, for now, I'm going to mulligan like this. I want a good 1-drop. A good 2-drop is also nice to curve out. Um, this is a lot better going 2nd because it can attack right on turn 2. But this is fine. I, I don't want to risk uh, drawing too many spells or anything. I think we have a solid curve. We have tons of good cards to draw into. If we draw Mayor, where we just did. Mayor, Lulu, or Poppy, then we should be good to go. Um, I guess we'll get a shield. It's kind of tough, because that only has removal in form of Fright of Arcane, so it's 4 damage. But I don't think the Spear will do much. Maybe it's going to help protect things from Xerath. That's probably why I would want this. Alright, so this next turn is really interesting. So Battle City Mayor, 
he discounts all the uh, multi-region followers, right? We're gonna want to play these multi-region followers, the telescopes, after um, Mayor, so we get we can just swarm the board for super cheap. This card gives you an Alcat, and this is a multi-region uh, unit as well, so it's gonna cost zero with Mayor. All right, we drew Poppy. We pretty much win here. I'm not gonna lie, this is a. I mean, this deck's strong, so I shouldn't underestimate it, but. We're in a great spot. We get ten of terror. Um, now we put a creative card. He gets his extra effect to summon something else. So next turn, I mean, we can just kind of play our whole hand, get a good poppy swing in there. Uh, we went or set up, set up for a big poppy swing. We're not gonna block this card. Um, he wants us to die because then it gets a landmark. We'll just start off with this. Um. I guess an elusive could help us finish off later. If he somehow doesn't have a way to stop it or deals with our regular units. It just it just could be a good way to sneak in lethal. He stabilizes. Zillion here. Alright. So if he doesn't have right of arcane, we basically just win. We'll play Poppy here. He can right of arcane by killing a mana gem. But then we can just play another Poppy anyway, so we probably just win here. This is what this deck does like almost every time. You just wanna get this full field attack. Like imagine if we draw a rally here. It'd just be so crazy. Wow, we do a rally here. That's crazy. Alright, so we're gonna attack with everything. We'll hold the mayor back so we can replenish our board for cheap. He'll probably do like a combat trick on this and block Poppy. But then we just play Poppy again and then rally the next turn. Or if he doesn't kill Poppy, we could maybe rally this turn. I like to make sure I'm like stabilized before I rally because rally is super committal. To the point where like uh, if we rally and then he has a good block, we kind of lose our rally. I like the rally when I know it's like a confirmed finish. But so far, if we get to keep all of these units, it's looking pretty strong for us. Stress defense? Okay. That's fine. Something interesting is she only buffs things that are uh, her attack power or less. So we could have done it earlier if I didn't open attack with this. Like if I gave him one action, he could have done that. Alright, so this rally is just amazing. Uh, first off, we'll play the Alcat for zero. Uh, we'll play Looking Telescope too. Equinox is good for later, I think. Oh, nice. I guess if we rally, we wouldn't even get a buff from Poppy. Do we still rally here? He's at 10. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty insane rally. Like, even if he blocks Poppy. I think I'm just gonna do it. Always tap low like this. This is pretty. Yeah, this is pretty good. This is just so much damage. We'll finish him on our next regular attack. That was a good explosive minefield, though. She still buffs herself, which is nice. And we're still leveling her. So on the next attack, if he hasn't killed Poppy yet, we just like win for free. Goes to one. Doesn't block with there. It's bold. So now we can just finish with impact. Like, we don't even need to really do anything. The impact keyword, when this strikes while attacking, it deals one to the Nexus, and it summons another one. So, we pretty much are guaranteed to just win here. Um, we don't need to kill Zillion right now, I don't think. That's fine that costs zero. Just play another one that costs zero to block. He has to attack. Oh, maybe not. I mean, we're gonna get level of Poppy here, so. Alright, we can get Rosalian here. Get rid of a blocker, I guess. Not really much you can do. I kind of wanted him to attack so I could play the tenor, but. Um, it, it's just like we can't lose no matter what. We'll just play the Trickster instead then. For Elusive. We can always tenor later. Now we have two Elusives. Yeah, this is, this is the end. Do a Lucis first, I guess. Alright. Yeah, Poppy levels on the third attack. It's not after you do three attacks. It's on it. So now, uh, our whole field gets plus two, plus two, and impact. On top of the elusive, pushing uh, a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. Negative 30. Playing versus Poppy pick. Interesting. Um, I'm assuming it's a similar deck to ours. I want to keep Fleet Tracker... Keep Mayor and Poppy. These are just power cards. Usually it's better to play Poppy going second, but it's so strong that it's fine. Lulu going first is really good. So I'm actually gonna pass. No. 
Okay, so I kind of want to pass here in case he has Fleet Tracker himself into a Bryce Protector to kill ours, but the way our hand is with all these units, I think I'd rather just curve out and hope he doesn't have Fleet Tracker plus Bryce Steel, so. Gift Gator. Alright, we're not going to trade these two, that's that's fine. We definitely want to get more value out of this if we get um, our, like, Yorl Smith or something. Return soon. Stories of your climb. I'll see you again. Okay. After okay. I've reached the peak. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> Is this the Wombo combo? That's what this is? Maybe he's just saying hi. I'll give him, I'll give him a hi. My words. GG. Good luck. Friend. I do this. Random opponent. Okay, well we're definitely gonna trade the Fleet Tracker here if he attacks because... Okay. I don't want to get value out of this. Multiple times. Another poppy. Interesting. Um, if we're playing Mayor, usually I have to open attack. I think here I actually will just hook this so he doesn't get any value out of it. Open attack here, get the Alcat. The reason I do this in case he has like a uh, Lucid Blocker, I don't think that it would have one. Maybe I could have developed Mayor to bait on a Sharp Sight range, but I think the Sharp Sight I don't really mind anyway. I'm gonna get. Okay, this card's actually insane in this deck with Mayor. It only costs five. But I'm gonna get Kingpin just for cheap units. Because we're kind of like low ish on the field. So I just wanna like swarm as much as I can. Cause I, again I could be your ranger, but if he has a removal, then I'd have to refuel again. What if this does something important, right? When I'm supported, give me my sporting ally plus one plus one this round. Alright, I can I can live with that. It's only for the round, right? I mean, how bad could it be? Okay, okay. Alright, not bad. Just gonna take that. Play Poppy. So, I think here the plan is to just put the barrier on Poppy so when she attacks, she's safe. Because I, if I have rallies right here, right? And this could also be good. Like, I wouldn't mean this, but as our champ spell, it's a nice to have answers to things like Taric. Let's say Taric's at the level, place the enemy on top of the enemy deck. When he levels, he's. I think it can't be. He can't die or take damage, but this doesn't do that. It doesn't kill or take make it do damage. It uh, puts on top of the deck, so it'll get through that. Um, I'm gonna play this here for a free kill. Cause we wanna like kinda use our fleet tracker as much as we can. And I guess I'll hold Mayor back here. Yeah. Get some easy replenish. So he still has six mana here. He could he could have a lot of stuff. Blocking Poppy. Blocking Poppy. You didn't kill anything? Oh, okay. Alright. There's a catch, huh? Well, we still win, right? We just win this turn, I'm pretty sure. I'm like, yeah, I'm like 100% sure. So, uh, all we have to do is just attack with everything and then hook this to the end so it never reaches the time to get the life steal. And then bam, GG. Yeah, this deck's pretty insane. <laughs> like, I've, I've never lost this deck. It, it It's pretty insane. It, it's honestly a pile of just insanely good cards. Like, Poppy's insane, and Mayor's insane. And I keep drawing this. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty good deck. <laughs> Alright, your plan's Bandal Tree. Right now, the standard version of Bandal Tree is the Fizz Poppy Noxus. Um, so this, I think this is a tier 1 deck, if not it's like high tier 2. It's really strong, I play like a lot myself, so uh, this would be a good match. So we're gonna keep, this as our 1 drop. We definitely keep Mayor, he's insane, but I keep Lulu. They kind of conflict when I'm playing them both on turn 3. I guess what I'll do is I'll just play this on turn 3 and then I'll play this when it's discounted on turn 4. And I'll help I draw 2 drop, like Battle Commando would be great. A rally. Okay, well, we're gonna bank mana on turn two for our spells. It's fine. This is actually good, too. Um, I guess we'll get a shield just so we can block better. Because he can also swarm pretty well. And blocking, having the luxury of blocking however you want is a bit better than attacking a lot of time. The only thing I use the spear for is for Yordle Smith. But we can just put Lulu on that. Like, the extra attack won't really get in because he has so many blockers in his deck. Okay. He's playing that now, which is making me hope he doesn't have Mayor, because you usually want to play that after Mayor. 
hit this guy. And Mayor's really strong, that's why. I'm hoping it doesn't have it, because this card is insane. Like, if one person has Mayor and the other one doesn't, you just become so far ahead so fast. Alright. Make this dumb enough to group shot, it's fine. When I play Mayor, I usually always just open attack, because I'm not attacking with Mayor, so. We'll chip for two, which actually matters a lot in our deck. He might group shot here, which is uh, pretty good, or like Pokey Stick or something. That would be a good one for him, because the Fleet Tracker, Tracker is a strong card. I really want to have him. Alright. I don't think he has Mayor again, because I think he would have waited to play it. The Discount Telescope. Um, this is cheap. This is good. Next turn's four. We'll just get this to be cheap. Yoda Ranger, again, is really strong in this deck, but I need to flood the board first. And we're kind of lacking units right now. That's a good one. So, we can pop off pretty hard. We'll play this first in case we want to block with it. Oh, no. That gets rid of Poppy. Yeah. Oh, but, but she's discounted, so she lived. Interesting, interesting. Okay. I was hoping that would happen. I didn't know how it would decide. I guess tiebreaker just random. Um, we can actually block that. We'll just take it though. Like he's never gonna out damage us. We're we're pretty insane uh, in terms of damage. I think I actually play Poppy first. Cause I want to give her the shield in case he has Buster Shot. He's tapped under Buster Shot right now. It it deals uh, three damage to an enemy, so you can use that on Poppy because the shield will keep her out of that range. Alright, play Lulu. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Yep, he did have the Buster Shot. I'm crazy. I had the read. But, we drew Ranger though, so Lulu will also be staying alive here. They run Ravnus Block, I think, in this deck, but that should be fine. Honestly, I should have chained this and killed that. So he had one less blocker. That's usually what I do. Uh, I'm not sure why I didn't do that right here. Alright. Very good, very good. Yeah, normally there in response to the buster shot, I would I would group shot. Because then when I attack he has one less blocker, but uh, yeah, again, this is fine. We'll be pushing a good amount more damage, so. We can still just kill his new cards he put on the field. Maybe they're more important anyway, and we'll just rally next turn. Okay, this is way more important. He must, he must have drawn that. I wasn't following his hand, I didn't see if he had drew it from the left, but... I guess holding the group shot worked out, because we have to kill Mayor, and then maybe even another important card he plays. That's very good. Protect Lulu, protect Poppy. He probably has Ravnus block, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and do this now to beat Ravnus block. Um, Poppy's more important than Lulu here, so she busts the whole board. So I'm gonna put pressure on her instead of Lulu. So we can group shot that, we can pursue. This is this is GG's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good game, good game. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the deck. It got me all the way back to rank one. So I think it's extremely powerful. I still haven't lost with it. A single time, I really think if you try it out yourselves, you can climb to whatever your rank goal is, whether that's Master or Diamond or whatever, or even rank one yourself. This deck is really powerful. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the deck, what videos you want me to make more of, and um, tons more videos of new content with all the new champions is going to be coming out. Uh, be sure to follow if you haven't already, or I guess subscribe, it's called. Uh, subscribe, turn notifications, and I'll be doing daily uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.